Hello, it is Throwback Thursday, January 27th, 2022. Where did January go? Almost 1 12th through the year. Hopefully you're more than 1 12th towards your goals for the year. But anyway, it's Throwback Thursday and we're throwing it back. I heard, saw something on social media yesterday was Australia Day, uh, which, all right, just to get off on a tangent for a sec here, it's uh, similar to here in the U.S. Columbus Day has suddenly become a politically incorrect thing because of how Australia was founded uh, 230 whatever years ago on yesterday's date, uh, January 26th in 1700, whatever, uh, Britain uh, sailed a whole bunch of ships full of uh, uh, prisoners to, uh, to Australia uh, to, because Australia was meant to house criminals, to be a penal colony. And uh, However, that also marked the start of the Manifest Destiny, the taking over the land from the uh, native Australians. Similarly, like Columbus Day, when I was growing up, was celebrated as like, hey, Columbus came here and look what happened. We built the greatest country on earth. But oh no, that's not woke. That's not politically correct because, you know, this land belonged to somebody else first. As if all land didn't belong to somebody else first or will belong to somebody else later. But anyway, I digress. So uh, what I had to chuckle about with the fact that Australia started as a penal colony is like, man, look at how long, how far Australia's come. Used to be that everyone was brought to Australia and everyone there was locked up and not allowed to be free and not allowed to go around. And man, those days are such a distant thing of the, wait a minute, wait a minute for the last two years. Australia has been basically a penal colony. So they started that way, still that way. Authoritarian, anti-science, draconian governments all over the world, certainly here throughout the U.S., are still clinging to their BS about this virus and their restrictions and their control over people. And so, sorry, Australia started as a penal colony and where are you today? By the way, also in the news, today is Holocaust Remembrance Day. And I looked it up, why they picked today. That's because today was the day, uh, you know, whatever, uh, 80, almost 80 years ago, that Auschwitz was liberated, that they, uh, they freed the, the prisoners at the Auschwitz concentration camp. And that has become known as Holocaust Remembrance Day. So two for one today on Throwback Thursday to two uh, points in history which had to do with prisoners, one getting brought somewhere to be prisoners, and another having to do with freeing prisoners. As a business owner, I can give you an idea which one you've choose, chosen to live by, and hopefully you will continue to choose to live by. I am a huge believer, in case you can't tell if this is the first of my ever videos or articles or anything you're ever hearing about me, I'm a big believer in personal responsibility, personal freedom, that's why I love business owners, entrepreneurs. Let's keep it up. Let's keep doing it. Let's do what we do best, which is personal responsibility, personal freedom, and making a difference in the world. The 90% of Americans that rely on the 10% who own businesses cannot live without us, right? We lead the way by being self-reliant, having personal determination, freedom, and the rest of the followers follow along and hope that we'll give them a paycheck and an opportunity. Anyway, that'll do it for Throwback Thursday, January 27th, 2022. I'll catch you back here tomorrow on Foundation Friday over and out. Bye-bye.